What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Pokedex and today we are doing a new series. So we have six Paldea Evolved booster boxes and in each video, we will see if we can pull the Iano. And I have this one sleeve and we will not stop till this Iano is inside of this one sleeve. And to do that, we have other Deep Park Monster sleeves. So we're gonna use these. And then for the Iano, we put it inside of this. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, we're going into our first pack. It's gonna be a little bit hard because the GoPro is set up in a certain area. So I have to get it on one spot. I like how Pokemon Scarlet and Violet can like have other ways to like show the code card. Cause you know how all the code cards are black and there's only like a certain amount. So like, I'm not sure if it's like guaranteed hits, but I'm pretty sure it's like, there's something like that. So white code cards, like a trainer gallery, like a rainbow or something. And I like how Scarlet and Violet has the stars, so it shows what certain rares you can get. Did any of you guys go to card party? Uh, met a bunch of the YouTubers. There's I don't know, not the one we're looking for though. Yeah, I met all. Oh, and it's Shinpao EX to start it off. Nice. What's that on our sleeve? It's so hard to do this. Alright, let's put that up there. That was our number two in a set. Ah, hit the camera. Sorry, guys. Alright. Packs, I've noticed that instead of the set, you can, like... Well, the problem with it is that Oh, hold on. I think we got something. Oh, we got a gold basic energy. Oh, and we got a boss's orders. Okay, let's go to start it off. I pulled that boss's orders originally inside of Triplet B. If you guys didn't know, if you want to watch that and have the video. Yeah, card party was really fun. I got pulled up on stage. Um, but Chloe picked me. They asked me a question. I'm not gonna spoil that for you guys. Because it's Pokemon related. So we already got three hits. I thought that boss's orders would be I don't know. Just need to get something. Come on. So the one problem with uh, Scarlet and Violet Paldea is that the packs are a little bit hard to open. Like, if you can open Sun and Moon, it's like, really easy to open which i've noticed i don't think you guys have noticed but it's something that i have come on and a salivari those are rare i like how in every single pack there's a hollow because back then it's like a sword and shield if you didn't get a hollow oh i hit the camera sorry guys so if you didn't get a hollow uh it'd be really difficult to get the cards you were looking for. I'm happy they did hollow per pack. This looks like super good. Trying to open the packs different because don't want to spoil the hits. Because usually when I'm opening, there's like a certain angle of how many weevil. It's a cool rare. See that? It's got like the mountains behind it. Reminds me of Silver Tempest. Silver Tempest is what it's like that. Oh god. I'm move that code card. Oh, this I think we got something. See something shiny. Sorry guys. Alright, come on, I don't know. Come on. Ooh, an Addendum EX. I never say that name right. Now we got Addendum EX. Full art. That's sick. Well, I wouldn't say a full art. I think, like, what do they call it? Whatever they call it. So let's see. 
All right, so we already got four heads. We got a gold card. We got chain barrel. It's gonna be a little bit hard to open the packs. So I might raise the packs over the camera. You guys might not be able to see it. You guys did go to card party. Did you guys meet any of your uh, all time idols, celebrities? Pokey Rev, Real Breaking Nate. We have been in line for like two hours for Real Breaking Nate. It was so worth it. He's such a positive guy. That's what I love about him. Yeah. So we did that. We met a couple cool people. We liked them. They're really nice. They had one kid. Well, it was a girl. She had one kid. And then they had his friend. We hung out with them. We went to this thing in the expo hall. It was like, you put it, you give them five bucks. So there was like five to 25. It's like $50 to a hundred. And it would be like a guaranteed really expensive card. So we did that. We got a couple of sick cards. My friend got an Articuno from Fossil. It was a rare hollow. It was worth like 60 bucks. So really happy for him. Because he didn't really have a lot of rare fossil cards inside of his binder. I don't either. I don't collect base set and old stuff like that. I recently got a base set pack, Venusaur. We're gonna get it weighed and sent to PSA. So when we hit a thousand subscribers, hopefully we can open that. And a Gurk So it's either with uh boxes it's either the left or the right side that has the good packs well at least i think it's not real but it's like accurate at least i think we got something with texture i don't know and i love how there's always like a reason because it's always silver so if you see this silver in it oh i think we got a trainer gallery and we got a trainer gallery so we and we got a wall ticks. Yeah, so if you see the holographic sides, it like, only if it has texture, you can know that you're gonna get a hit. So it's kind of hard if you're gonna think it's a trainer or anything else like that. Well, you never know if it's gonna be a trainer or a full art, like this denim, the edges. Well, sometimes it'll spoil it because the edges will have like stuff on it because usually it'll like come out of the picture. Pokecoy really liked me at card party. I don't know why. I guess she just liked my personality. I gave her hugs like halfway through card party, so I think she was just, oh, he's sweet. Did any of you guys meet Pokecoy, Pokerove, Rorick, and Nate? Anybody? Claws your EX. Oh, and I wanted to say, you guys should check out uh, Jay's Corner. We sat next to him at card party. He was a VIP, which I thought was really cool. We sat next to him. I didn't know his channel before, but I looked at it this morning and I watched one of his live streams and I thought it was really cool. So you guys should go check him out. He's trying to get more subscribers. He only gets at least like 300 to 800 views on his videos. So I'd really like to puff that up, get it somewhere for him, make him happy. Cause I'm all about giving people more views than they usually, I thought Magikarp is sick. So, have any of you guys noticed that how they evolved uh, hit rates very low right now? They did not. It's always like the second set in Sword and Shield. Hold on, let me adjust. It's always like the second set instead of any set. Like in Sword and Shield, is Rebel Clash. I usually call it Rebel Trash because it usually didn't give me hits. But for some of you, it might have gave you stuff. Yeah, it's only like a seventy-three dollar as a top card. So I was really confused about it. We used to open it. It used to come in like Target packs, two packs. It used to come with like Fusion Strike and Fireball Flash. We used to open it and get nothing. It's weird how on the bottom of these now you can see like Rainbow and you think you're gonna train in Rally, but like Pokemon's straight up trolling you. I mean, it's not really that annoying, but it's like something common. I usually experience. Hit the camera again. Yeah. <sighs> 
in August, I'm gonna have a different setup for um, opening packs. For now, I'm probably just gonna be here somewhere else. Yeah, card party was something to remember. It was at least like my first event. There's gonna be a card party too. We got tickets to it. We don't know where it's at yet, but hopefully that's revealed soon. Can we get milk? Nope. Oh, that gear is sick. Have you guys seen that Magikarp yet inside of the set? Oh yeah, recently I opened a booster box with Unlisted Leaf. And sadly we didn't pull the Iono, but he put me in this video. I gave him a Chin Pao alternate artwork and he was really happy that I did. So yeah, he was very happy. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna put my name in the comments. That's what he said. I was like, what's your name? I'm like, Pokedex. He's like, all right, I'm gonna put your name in the comments and stuff. So I was super happy for that. I was happy I could do something for Ando. And he's like my idol. He helped me with my channel and stuff. When I first started, I would watch his videos. He'd give me like some hype. If I used to watch his videos of uh, the Rainbow Charizard VMAX from Champions Pass, because that's usually when it came out. So I was watching his videos to see if I could get some memo on what the set was all about. Did I just spoil the... Okay, I did. Oh, didn't go like this. Is. So when I spoil the uh, art inside of the pack, I'm usually gonna just go right through. Because if I don't do that, then it technically just ruins it. So then you guys just know it's gonna be boring. I usually really watch like Pokerev, we'll do that. Sound with like Pokevault stuff. 13 minutes, 50 seconds, we're already in. I gotta pull that on, I don't know. Yeah, when I hit a thousand subscribers, we can do live streams and stuff, and up and all the sets from Scarlet and Violet, see if we can pull the alternates. Do you know alternate artworks for actually secret rares? Because on the bottom, it'll start with like GG70, TGC something. I don't know. It'll, what is up with this? Guys. Oh my god. These cards are stuck together. That is so weird. Yeah, look, they're like glued on. What the heck? The packs are like stuck together. What was that about? Oh look, now it's damaged. That is weird. I'm guessing that's rare. Probably not rare, but like, it's probably something that never happens to people. Yeah, no, I don't know why it's like that. It's weird. Never gotten a pack like that yet. One thing I hate about my GoPro so far. Ooh, Cigar Go. One thing I hate about my GoPro so far is that. If you turn it on, it'll like fade away. Oh, I forgot to put that in the safe. It'll like fade away and it'll turn black, so I have to like tap on it to get its attention. Did I sleeve it? I literally sleeved the Gyarados. That's cool. Alright. I don't know, never mind. My dad did. I thought I did. I'm like, why the freak would I sleeve a Gyarados? No, my dad's a huge fan of Gyarados. I'm never showing them inside of my videos. Maybe for the in the future I will. And some of my other people. I don't know. Some of my friends. I have to tap on the camera. Okay. I got some advice from Pokeball on how to do better on my videos. He had amazing advice. He said he was at 64 subscribers and most of the subscribers were family and friends. And he said he was at the urge of deleting his channel. But then he just kept pushing and he finally got to the point where he hit a thousand subscribers. And he was grateful that he didn't delete his channel because he wouldn't have been where he is today. I try to make my videos as accurate as I can. Because either way, I'm still starting Pokemon. On YouTube. I literally started in April. No. Hold on, I gotta go January, February, March. We started in March. 
March somewhere in the 20s or something. March 21st, somewhere like that. So my original name on my channel was Pokedex 828, but we changed it to Pokedex. The 828 is standing for my birthday, August 28th. So we deleted that and we made it Pokedex. But now there's a problem. If you look up my name on YouTube, it'll show, is that a Gyarados? No, that's not a Gyarados. It'll show, uh, show re results for Pokedex, which that is not me. That's like, it'll usually come, you know what a Pokedex is. It's like the thing where you look at the Pokemon. I'm sure you guys know. So, yeah, it would come up as that. So, I was talking to myself, I'm like, if I change the name, because you can't change your name like every single day, or YouTube will get mad at you and won't let you. Yeah, so I'm kind of on the edge to change again. I was thinking of Poga something. I did Poga Deck. I wanted to do 828 again, so my channel changes to Poga Deck 828. Y'all will know because I talked about it in this video. Why is my voice getting dark? I'll do that sometimes. People will get annoyed. They'll be like, you're mobile. They'll be like, okay. I'll change it. But like, usually it annoys people. What is up with these packs? Like, it's so hard to open them. God, so rough. We gotta get something. Come on, Iona. I'm going as slow as I can. I wanna enjoy this opening. I gotta get that, Iona. Okay, so Iono is our first reverse. Second reverse, rare, Amosol. Amosol. I don't even know the names of the Pokemon because I'm not used to it. In certain shows, I could just open the box and be like, that, 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 and I could just name them quickly. The first set I ever opened was Astral Radiance. We bought an 8-pack on Amazon. And I got that for Christmas or my birthday. It was either Christmas or my birthday or like another holiday. Yeah, my grandma bought it for me. And I literally pulled the top card in the set, my champ. And I didn't even know, because I would like play with it, put it in my binder, take it out, play the Pokemon game. And I'd be really confused. And I'd be like, what is this card? Because me and my dad pulled it before and he was like, is it an error? Is it something else? And then we finally looked it up because it looked strange and it was actually a $125 card. We we're like, holy. I was like super excited. So, my thumbnails may change in the next month. I'm trying to make them more cool because most people only click on thumbnails if they're cool. Like, usually I'll watch like other YouTube videos like Pokerev. Like, if it's not interesting, I'm not going to click on it in a visual. It's not, I'm not going to click on it. And the same with Real Breaking Nate, Poke Chloe, everybody. So, it's not a good thumbnail. It's not really gonna get any views because when it has a good thumbnail, people are gonna be like, ooh, that looks good. And then people are gonna actually wanna see it. Got some of that advice. So, I'm gonna change my thumbnails. It's not about the views, it's about having fun. And I know that a lot of you may think that, but it's mostly about the fun, not the views. The views don't matter, it's about if you're having fun opening it, because further in the future, I really want to open packs. You know that thing where you like pull the hits and you get the little tea bags and you put them inside of the tea bags? And then you like write your name on it and then they'll like send it to your house. I think that's really cool. Because it's like you're opening it, but you're not keeping the cards, but it's still fun and you get to still experience it. And then people who are watching the live stream can just be like, Oh my god, I'm getting that sent to my house. There's some risk with doing that because it could get damaged inside of the shipping. Packs could get messed up. I saw some guy recently at Card Party, he was in the trading hall. He does live streams on Drip, so I checked him out. He was super cool. He let me open a couple packs. He paid like 15 bucks for a Burning Shadows pack. He didn't pull the charger. It's still fun. I don't open Burning Shadows a lot because obviously it's crazy expensive. It's like $500 for a booster box on Amazon. So that's a no-no for me. I don't know why Burning Shadows costs more because you can buy a Cosmic Eclipse booster box 
I don't know if Cosmic Eclipse came out first or Burning Shadows. I'm pretty sure it's Cosmic Eclipse that came out first. Well, Burning Shadows is only expensive because of the $400 Charizard PSA 10 inside of there. It's the Rainbow Charizard. Pretty sure Burning Shadows copied Champion's Path. The Rainbow Charizard. Or Burning Shadows. Well, Champion's Path copied Burning Shadows with it. I did everything. Like, if you guys see me in person, I'll say things, but I'll say the opposite way than it's already. Like, just now, I say something opposite. It's like a thing with me I've always done, especially with YouTube videos, it's really hard to talk because I'll be like, um, I'll like break out, I can't talk. I don't really get, uh, I'm not really shaking when I'm opening the packs and stuff. I don't have camera fright. A lot of people do. I don't because I'm kind of used to it. My first video is kind of scared, but I wanted to go with it because I wanted to be a sick YouTuber. That looks super cool. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I can get monetized and I can make merchandise and stuff. Y'all can pick it up. Then I hit on a thousand subscribers to like 2026 at least. Um, I'm gonna try further on inside of my videos, not to lie. Like, there will be clips that are like exited it out. Usually it's because I pulled something really good. What is that? Hold on. Disperance? I saw that on the cards list. I thought it was really cool. So I can pull Magikarp. I opened one unlisted leaf and the kid pulled a Magikarp and he wasn't even that excited. He just thought the kid keep it. Or he took it. I don't know if he kept it or took it because he said everything that you guys are going to pull I need to keep for my binder. So we're like, okay, we're going with it. I mean, obviously it's a YouTuber. Like everybody was following him. They were like asking for autographs and stuff. I was really uncomfortable because I was literally walking with a celebrity hanging out. I don't know. No, Flanker. I pulled a lot of these trainers. I don't know what they're worth. The boss's orders is at least like 20 bucks. So that's good. They're worth a lot. The Iona is worth 150 bucks currently. Prices are going up because the pool rates are laid down. Like Rebel Clash, the only reason it's up is because the pool rates are bad, especially with Burning Shadows. If pool rates are really bad in certain sets, they'll be really expensive. And if the pool rates are really good, like Scarlet Violet, they'll become really cheap. Because everybody... What? Did I just swallow that? Chain New EX. I don't know how to say hits anymore, because it's like... I thought hits was my thing, and then other people call them hits too. My dad literally told me I didn't have enough saves, and he was right, because I am missing. Oh, we opened the last pack. Alright, we're gonna do a mega pack. Alright. Oh, this is straight through. I don't think I got anything. I don't see any texture. I don't know if I'm gonna get any trainer galleries. I still call them trainer galleries. I think they're called like ultra rares, ultra rare secrets. Yeah, I don't think we're getting anything, guys. Sorry. We still got a amount of hits. Dang it, we got a gear dust. Okay, that was still fun. We're gonna open uh, booster boxes daily. We might not post them at the time that you guys are expecting, but we will. So, got some hits. Wow, guys, we pulled a lot of hits today. We're super happy we got... 10 hits. Ten hits. We got... Talking two trainer... No, three trainers. One four. Two EXs. Uh, two trainer galleries. Oh no, three EXs and a basic energy. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's see if we can both out. I don't know.